Buckle up because you're about to discover the education to professional employment e to be framework. The six golden principles every non-tech degree holder must know to transition to AI and data rules within three to six months and earn five to six figure salaries working from home. Yes, I'm talking about the same principles used by top AI and data professionals earning five to six figure salaries from the comfort of their homes. Professionals who are enjoying an abundance of AI and data opportunities. Experts working few hours, spending quality time with family and friends while earning more. The truth is, almost every successful AI and data professional you know or might have heard of is using these principles I'm about to share with you. Unfortunately, no one has ever articulated and documented it into a clear framework until now. Given the fact that you now know there are principles you can use to transform your professional career and live the life you deserve, are you ready to dive into these principles? Before you take off with me, let's cover some housekeeping rules. The principles I'm about to share with you will transform your career. While I wish there was a simpler way to convey this, this video is the most effective way to communicate the message. Watch it as if it's your only ticket left for a prosperous career. Though it may seem extensive, if you truly want to make a change in your career, you can completely go through this video in one go. How long it takes will depend on how urgent your situation is. The choice is yours. Additionally, what I'm about to share with you is rather unconventional compared to what your school system or society has sold to you. It's unique and will require a complete change of mindset. If you want to remain mediocre, then this video is not for you. But if your goal is to take charge of your professional life and be very successful, then you are in the right place. This may sound harsh. If you are looking for shortcuts to quick success as promised, by unprofessional self-claimed data experts, then this video is not for you. Kindly stop now and go watch TikTok videos or movies on Netflix. But if you're serious about fixing your current situation and becoming a high-paying AI and data professional, then ride along with me. If you don't care about money and an enjoyable lifestyle, then the principles I'm about to share with you will be useless. But if you do, enjoy the ride with me. Lastly, nothing in life comes without hard work. Nothing is given to you. You don't get what you deserve. You get what you push, shove, scratch, and work your ass off for. The journey I'm about to take you on will not be easy, but you can guarantee yourself success if you study and apply the principles I will share with you soon. Are you ready to leverage your academic knowledge to transition into AI and data rules within three to six months, and in five to six figure salaries working from home? If yes, let's go. Before you spend the next few minutes on packaging the secrets that will forever change your approach to the job market, let's establish some crucial insights. In the past, securing a decent job with just a bachelor's degree was almost guaranteed for those born between 1965 and 1980. Generation X, likely your parents if you are watching this video in 2024. However, if you are part of the Generation Y, early 1980s to early 1990s, or Generation Z, mid 1990s to early 2010, then the job market is vastly different and very competitive. Thanks to the internet technology, the world has transformed into a global village. Geographical barriers have crumbled. Remote work has emerged as a new standard, especially evident during the COVID-19 pandemic when most information technology-related jobs transitioned seamlessly to remote setups. Employers now have the flexibility to hire talents from any corner of the world, provided they have a reliable internet connection. This accessibility has democratized the job market, opening opportunities previously restricted by location. Furthermore, there has been a significant surge in tertiary education enrollment, particularly with the rise of remote learning options. 
While possessing a degree was once prestigious for Generation X, it has become a standard expectation for younger generations, that is Generation Y and Z. The proliferation of online universities has made degrees accessible to anyone who can afford it with an internet connection, leading to a surplus of highly qualified candidates flooding the job market with fewer opportunities. This is probably no news to you, but the truth is you can't keep using the same conventional techniques of older generation X to penetrate today's job market. It is not effective anymore. This figure illustrates how job opportunities are distributed across different types of companies or companies at different phases. Here's the breakdown from top to bottom. Level one, a mere 3% of companies have identified and defined a business problem requiring AI and data solutions, specifying the roles, skills, and technology needed. These are the opportunities often visible on job platforms. Level two, 17% of companies identify the business problem requiring AI and data solutions, but are still in research phase regarding the necessary skills. Level three, 20% of companies recognize a business problem and are aware of AI as potential solutions. And level four, 60% of companies are neither aware of their problem nor a solution to their problem. What does this tell you? If you are solely relying on the 3% of opportunities posted on job platforms like LinkedIn, Indeed, and Glassdoor, you are up against a very stiff competition. Throughout your conventional education, you have been told to be a good competitor. You competed for grades, class rankings, and exams. However, in the job market, you shouldn't compete. Your goal should be to become a monopoly. Yes, you heard me right. Become a monopoly and control your territory. Very successful professionals don't compete for AI and data opportunities. To not compete, you need to go after the opportunities in the 97% no one is going after. Conventionally, you were told this is how the job market works with the employer in full control. One, employer identifies a problem. Two, design job specifications. And three, put out a call for applications. However, this approach has several drawbacks. High competition, you are up against numerous other job applicants lack of control job specifications might include skills and tools that aren't in your favor reliance on luck your success depends on being one of the first to apply or on the hr mode while reviewing applications but you can turn things around with a new approach as an ai and data grid consultant identify a unique problem in your industry research and design a solution reach out to employers who could benefit from your solution. This new approach offers several advantages. Less competition, you face fewer or no other applicants. Control, you set your own working terms. Proactive success, you are in control of your success by targeting companies that need your solution. By adopting this new strategy, you can bypass traditional job seeking methods unnecessary competition and position yourself as an indispensable problem solver. Before we dive into the secrets that will transform your professional career, let's start with some essential insights. It takes on average one to two years, sometimes even more for most technical degree holders to learn a professional job that matches their qualifications. Graphiland Survey 2023. This is a worrying situation, clearly visible in our society today, even in developed countries. I understand that your primary drive for pursuing higher education lies in acquiring the knowledge and skills necessary to secure promising professional employment opportunities and ensure your future well-being. However, upon completing your degree, you were confronted with the stark realities of a dynamically evolving job market where finding gainful employment related to your field of study proved to be a formidable task. This glaring discrepancy necessitated a closer examination 
of the typical path you might have traversed upon gradation. I believe the wish was to move from step A, B to C to F immediately upon gradation. But unfortunately, you might have traversed the path A, B, C to D. Alternatively, you might have made efforts by following path E, trying numerous online self-trainings but with little or no success. First, understand it's not your fault. I have been there before. Many other degree holders are facing the same challenges as you are. Our university program did not equip us enough to prepare us for what to expect upon graduation. The truth is, I wasn't comfortable seeing educated youths with university degree either unemployed or unemployed, so I decided to take matters into my own hands. I started asking the question, why is it just a handful of non-tech degree holders succeeding in penetrating the job market on time? Why the majority of non-tech degree holders spend years either underemployed or unemployed? So I carried out a comprehensive analysis which showed me a significant predicament. As a graduate, you might have the knowledge and skills, but they do not adequately align with the demands of the current job market. As a result, you might have tried the following options. Pursue further degrees that may still not align with prevailing job market requirements. Settle for job positions that do not align with your skills. Accept unskilled jobs to make a living. Unbark on self-employed ventures. Experience the burden of unemployment. Now, I understand you might be frustrated and about to give up. Again, I want to let you know that this is not fully your fault. Societal beliefs have failed you. And unfortunately, no one has taken the time to put together a solution that is easy to apply and increases your chances of professional employment. In my unwavering commitment to address this multifaceted challenge, I have undertaken extensive experimentation and rigorous testing of a framework that is proven to be effective. This is based on my professional career experience and that of many other industry professionals I have spoken with. My primary goal is to take you from your current predicament to learning a high paying job anywhere in the world. You deserve to live a life of fulfillment at a young age. The Education to Professional Employment E2P e framework is a series of six principles that when you apply meticulously will increase your professional employability chances in the field of AI and data. The goal of this framework is to equip you with real world and practical skills that match the demands of the current and future job market globally. It goes further to help you grow your career, making you ever suitable and ready for the evolving job market. When you completely study this framework, you will achieve the following. Uncover at least three tailored AI and data career paths perfectly suited for you. Learn how to fill skills gap quickly and efficiently with the guardians of an industry professional. And lastly, gain valuable work experience, build a professional personal profile, and create value creating proposals and CVs to attract high paying job opportunities. This comprehensive framework with the six golden principles primarily caters for non tech professionals battling with the following challenges. You are unsure of which AI and data career path to follow based on your background, experience, and interests. You are struggling to identify the AI and data skills to learn and how to gain the skills effectively and quickly. And lastly, you are struggling with almost a 100% job rejection rate or can't make it through job interviews successfully. This framework is not a replacement for formal education like universities and colleges but a supplement to help you transition from education to professional employment in a quick and effective way. Before you watch further, I would like to introduce myself to you. I'm Ivo Kubam. I am a Cameroonian with many years of industry experience in the field of AI and data. I obtained my BSc in biochemistry in 2010, and I ventured into teaching while freelancing in data management. Yes, I was already seven businesses with data-driven solutions without a formal data degree. In 2016, I earned my first master's degree in health economics, policy, and management. In late 2018, I decided to pursue further studies abroad in Belgium. 
The next three years didn't unfold smoothly as I predicted. While studying, I had to do unskilled jobs to finance my studies, take care of myself and finance my family back home. If you have studied in Europe as a self-sponsored international student, I believe you can relate. I was fortunate to have my older brother with me. He was a beacon of hope. With his support and guidance, I successfully completed my advanced master's degree in data science and big data. Even before completing it, I already secured a job. I was able to convince an employer willing to sponsor my work visa. I had defied all belief that you must earn a European degree before securing a job. Since then, I have taken pride in my achievements and transformation. I have consulted for major corporations like Pfizer and Brussels Airport, earning over 10 international industry certifications, serving as a Microsoft ambassador and exploring many EU countries have been my highlight of my journey. This is not an opportunity for me to raise my shoulders about my professional career, but to give you insight of my professional journey. I want you to see that it is possible to break the norms set by society. No matter your situation, I believe if you study the principles in this framework and apply the steps as I recommend, your chances of professional employment will be high. Many of your peers who come to me with a known tech background with the hope of transition into AI and data roles usually have concerns. You might have such related concerns. Let's tackle them now before moving ahead. Must you complete or do an additional tech degree before you can learn an AI and data job? No, it is not necessary. When you already have a degree in any field of study, you can quickly learn the additional AI and data skills by enrolling in short training programs. I recommend learning just the minimum skills to quickly learn a job and continue learning on the job. That is the best and most effective way to learn. You are concerned there are no job opportunities in your field of study. Yes, I agree some degrees sell better in the job market than others, but you can still leverage your non-tech degree to learn an AI and data job. It's all about understanding your skills gap and enrolling for short training programs to close the gap. You think you must travel to country X before you can land your dream job. Yes, the developed countries do provide more opportunities than developing countries. But with the increased accessibility and affordability of the internet, employers are willing to hire good remote talent. You think you can make a career switch because you're currently working as XYZ. This is not true. You are the one setting your own limitations. If you are determined and resilient, you can make the career switch. Depending on your situation, it can be challenging or easy, but it's very possible. Finally, you need to understand that your university degree alone is not sufficient to land you a high paying job in today's competitive market. You need more than your academic intelligence. You need practical intelligence and real world experience. Unfortunately, these are skills not taught in conventional settings. You can learn these skills in a matter of weeks with without sitting in a conventional classroom. With such skills and the right guidance, you can successfully penetrate and grow in any career path. While it is encouraged to watch the entire framework from start to finish, there are different study options depending on your current situation. One, if you are unsure of which AI and data career path to pursue, then watch all phases of the framework in order. Two, if you know which AI and data career path to follow, but are unsure of the skills to learn and how to effectively learn them, start from phase two and continue to the end. Three, if you are choosing your AI and data career path and learn the necessary skills, but need to gather work experience, begin from phase three and watch to the end. And lastly, if you are ready for the job market, but facing many rejections, focus on phase four to six. In the upcoming sections, you will be answering the following six key questions every non-tech degree holder has when transitioning to AI and data roles. One, who is the single most important person you should go to for career coaching and counseling before you begin your transition journey to AI and data roles? Two, how to quickly and effectively learn only the necessary AI and data skills to learn you a job ASAP. Three, Say goodbye to boring internships. 
learn how to gain work experience and build a strong technical portfolio from the comfort of your bed. Four, how to build a strong personal brand that attracts AI and data opportunities while you sleep. Five, want to avoid job competition? Uncover how to create your own AI and data opportunities free from competition. And six, how to connect and network with like-minded peers to unlock AI and data opportunities. The six golden principles of the education to professional employment framework. One, career counseling and guardians. Unfortunately, you might have overlooked or misunderstood the significance of career counseling and guardians. This can lead to misguided decisions before embarking on AI and data career journeys. The following comparison aligns the conventional approach to career coaching and contrasts it with the new effective method of incorporating career guardians for a seamless transition into AI and data group consultants. The conventional approach. There is a high chance you might have received career advice from your peers, parents, teachers when choosing an AI and data career path. Alternatively, you might have ventured to decide independently, often without the necessary insights due to limited exposure to the ever-changing AI and data job market. This approach frequently results in the pursuit of popular AI and data career paths. Upon completing your training, you encounter a harsh reality as previously lucrative job prospects might have worn out. Frustration mounts and you start navigating uncertain paths, often without suboptimal results. This try and error method, unfortunately, boasts of a limited success rate. What you need is an approach that guarantees a smooth transition into AI and data jobs immediately upon completion. The innovative approach. At certain junctures in your life, you must have benefited from advice, guidance, or mentorship that facilitated well-informed decisions. Consulting a professional AI and data career coach before choosing a career path is crucial. The modern job market volatility demands ongoing adaptation and the acquisition of skills in high demand. This approach encourages you to establish connections with professional career coaches who are closely connected to the dynamic job market. Staying in synchronization with the market needs ensures you to focus on developing skills that address real-world industry challenges. Talking to a professional coach. I understand finding a professional coach can be a daunting task, particularly if you are not well acquainted with the professional landscape. To assist you in this endeavor, a professional career coach embodies a distinctive combination of the following traits. Industry expertise. Deep understanding of various industries, job roles, and career path that matches your profile. Assessment skills. Proficiency in assessing your strengths, weaknesses, skills, and interests. Goal alignment. Assisting you in setting realistic and achievable career goals. Network skills. Help you make connections with industry contacts and mentors. Resume and interview expertise assist you in crafting effective resumes, cover letters, and providing interview guardians. Job search strategies, assist you in developing effective job search strategies. Adaptability, adapting your strategies to align with changing trends. Accountability, ensuring you stay committed to your set goals. Problem solving, offering you strategies for overcoming career-related challenges. Feedback and constructive criticism, providing honest feedback for improvement. Empowerment, guides you in taking ownership of your professional development. Continuous learning, he or she must stay updated with industry trends. Result oriented, help you focus on achieving tangible outcomes. Connecting with a professional coach encompassing these attributes and more, and who is also eager to provide mentorship. As a recommendation, you can search on social media platforms such as LinkedIn, Indeed, Twitter, and Facebook as a starting point to find a professional coach with the above traits. What you have just uncovered about career counseling and guardians is crucial. Making a mistake at this step can significantly hinder your chances of successfully transitioning 
into AI and data growth consultant within three to six months and earning a six-figure salary. Hopefully, you have understood this phase well. Now, it's time to roll up your sleeves and get hands-on. Principle two, skill development and training. For you to secure a job fresh out of school based solely on your university degree is challenging in today's competitive job market. While a few companies offer graduate programs, these are highly competitive. Consequently, you struggle to find employment due to lack of experience. The conventional approach. With growing availability of free online resources, you can proactively seek to gain AI and data skills not covered during your university degree through platforms like LinkedIn Learning, Coursera, Udemy, YouTube, just to name a few. Why this is a positive step? Reports indicate that such self-directed learning requires qualities like self-determination, motivation, effective time management, resilience, focus, and accountability, qualities that you may lack. Unfortunately, only a handful possess these traits, leading to high dropout rates. You are unique, which is why we recommend in phase one to consult a professional career coach with industry experience. These coaches create tailored training plans that cover the necessary skills for specific AI and data career paths. The involvement of experienced industry professionals in delivering these training programs is crucial. During your training, industry professionals provide real-world examples to complement theoretical knowledge, offer insights into real working environments, and illustrate how problem solving in the professional world differs from academic setting. This training approach may lead to internationally recognized certifications. Ideally, this phase should last for at least a few weeks and at most three months, depending on the skills you must cover. By adopting this new approach, you can bridge the gap between your academic knowledge and the ever-changing demands of the AI and data job market. The involvement of industry professionals and internationally recognized certification not only enhances your skill set, but also boosts your employability, making you an indispensable asset in the professional world. You live in an information age where there is no shortage of free and paid AI and data resources. One of the most important assets highly demanded by employers is work experience. Unfortunately, this is where newbies transition into AI and data often fall short. Don't worry, in the next phase, you will discover how you can gain work experience from the comfort of your home. In today's fiercely competitive job market, where job experience is often a prerequisite, it is a daunting challenge in gaining a foothold. Even for entry-level positions that may not explicitly require prior experience, you are up against seasoned candidates applying for the same roles. So, what is the path forward for you? Inasmuch as Phase 2 emphasizes the practical approach of learning with an industry professional, hands-on real-world experience is essential. We will dissect phase three looking at the conventional approach versus the innovative approach. Conventionally, you might think of picking up an internship at a company to gain practical experience. Why this is not a bad approach, be mindful of internships where you end up as the office coffee runner. Additionally, internships are becoming as competitive as real jobs, making it increasingly challenging to secure one. There are alternative ways to approach internships. Do you remember the illustration at the beginning of this framework? Shifting your approach to the job market? This is a good alternative to creating internship opportunities or gaining experience from home. Let's examine this innovative approach in detail. This approach breaks phase three into identifying a business problem, providing the solution, and publishing your results. One, identifying a business problem. Your goal should not be to just work on any data project for the sake of gaining skills. That can be the case during learning phase. But in this phase, you want to work on problem that potential employers can relate to. To create a lasting impact, it is essential to identify the business problem in your field of interest. This can be challenging tasks, but consider these approaches. Visit companies, engage with business owners or employees in your field to uncover their business problems. Consult industry professionals. Tap into their experience to uncover bottlenecks companies are facing. Follow industry news. Stay informed about the trends and hot topics in your field of interest. 
The key is to work on a project that aligns with business needs. Companies hire employees to solve problems and you can become a prime candidate if you offer a potential solution. Two, solution to business problem. Once you have identified the problem, the next step is to devise a solution. You have several approaches. One, solo or independent. Taking full control over the solution is an option where it is advisable to seek guidance from an industry professional. Two, teamwork. Collaborating with the team offers diverse perspective and efficient problem solving, although it can present challenges. But this is ideal because you will almost every time work in a team in real life. Internships. Ideally, internships provide hands-on experience in professional environment, but securing such opportunities can be competitive. Be selective in your choices and focus on projects that align with your objective. Three, publishing results. When you have a solution, it is vital to raise awareness. A solution stored on your laptop is no different from no solution. Share your results on forums, social media platforms, and to employers relevant to your field. Tell your content to suit different stakeholders. In conclusion, building experience requires dedication, self-determination, focus, and proactiveness. There is no fixed number of projects that guarantee the experience sought after by employers. However, consistently working on projects using the various approaches mentioned above signals your adaptability and readiness for any professional environment. No amount of talking will help you build a good portfolio of projects sorted after by employees. You live in an area marked by the omnipresence of the internet and the widespread acceptance of remote work. Job markets have become accessible to applicants on a global scale. Employers now enjoy the luxury of choosing talent from around the world, intensifying the competitiveness of the job market. With this heightened competition, you must surpass the ordinary to stand out in the bustling job market crowd. In phase four of the Educational Professional Employment E2PE framework, you uncover the importance of an online professional personal brand. Your personal brand is essentially your narrative. It defines who you are and what you stand for professionally. It serves as how you distinguish yourself as a credible, trustworthy, and skilled AI and data candidate. Establishing your identity is crucial to drive today's fiercely competitive market. The million dollar question is, how do you build a robust professional personal brand? Innovative approach. Companies invest significantly in building their professional brand, a practice that you should emulate. The following outlined simple steps should help you to construct a professional brand that attracts AI and data opportunities to your doorstep. While there are various online job platforms, LinkedIn is arguably one of the most widely used. These steps outlined here are adaptable to any platform. One, create a professional online profile. Sign up for platforms in ensuring your profile reflects professionalism. Tailor your profile to convey who you are, your values and interests. Make sure your profile accurately reflects your brand and expertise. Use platform specific resources to guide profile creation based on professional status. Two, actively engage. Beyond job applications, users on this platform provide valuable content. Actively participate by engaging with useful content through likes, comments, and reposts. Join relevant conversations. Use these platforms as learning hubs to acquire skills beyond formal education. Three, share content. Don't just consume content, become a content creator. Share relevant AI and data content related to your field or career interests. Create content that educates and engages with potential employers. By sharing content, you position yourself as a trusted advisor and thought leader in your industry. It is also good to share content from other sources that are relevant to your industry and interests. This not only puts you in the spotlight, but also showcases your expertise to the community. Four, build network. Your network is your net worth. Like networking at a conference, build relationships and establish credibility in your field. Proactively build a valuable network of connections that can unlock doors to various AI and data opportunities. Stay consistent and patient. Building a professional brand is an ongoing process. 
Don't expect overnight results or viral success from one content. Instead, focus on creating and sharing quality content that provides value and solves problems for your audience regularly. Remain actively present in professional realm. Don't disappear after landing a job, only to reappear when seeking the next opportunity. The value of constructing your professional personal brand cannot be overstated. With a well-defined professional brand, you generate opportunities even while sleeping. Positioning yourself ahead of the pack, you become the reference point before the crowd. Remember, it is not always the most talented individuals who secure the best opportunities. Often, it's those who can effectively market and sell themselves. You might feel uncomfortable with this because you were told you need to only wait and apply for jobs. As already stated, the job market is very competitive. Only waiting to apply for jobs is unreliable. Principle number five, job placement. The increased accessibility and affordability of artificial intelligence technologies has revolutionized the job application process. If you stick to conventional methods of job application, your chances of success diminishes significantly. Here is the truth. Only a fraction of job opportunities, 3% is formally posted on professional job platforms. The majority circulates through informal networks. While this reality may seem unfortunate, it presents an opportunity. Rather than joining the crowd via for limited online postings, let's strategize and take a different route. In phases three and four, you are encouraged to invest time in solving industry-specific challenges and build a robust professional brand on platforms like LinkedIn. If executed effectively, these steps will likely connect you with a meaningful and reliable network within your field. Now, it is time to leverage that network to your advantage. In this phase, the goal is to shift your focus to outsmarting other job applicants using an innovative approach. But before we delve into this strategy, let's revisit the conventional method most job seekers currently employed. The conventional approach to job applications, CV or resume please, Many job seekers meticulously draft well-structured CVs and resumes, applying them to every job listing they find. The strategy, quantity over quality, apply to as many positions as possible, hoping for a favorable outcome. You find yourself competing with a large pool of other qualified candidates. You base your chances of succeeding on good luck. Truly, some have succeeded using this approach, but success cannot be guaranteed. Moreover, because your focus is on quantity over quality opportunities, you might find a mismatch between you and employers. You find yourself in a job position that doesn't meet your aspirations and goals. As such, you get employed, underperform, and find your career growth declining. You either stay at the job unsatisfied or resign and head back to the vicious cycle of job hunting. However, there is a smarter way forward. Let's explore this innovative approach that can set you apart and maximize your chances of landing your dream job and grow professionally. Innovative job application strategy. Why wait for job posting where you can proactively influence employers to create tailor-made opportunities just for you? Imagine being the catalyst for change within a company, solving critical problems they didn't even know existed. Phase three emphasizes on working on projects that directly addresses industry challenges or explore trending topics. Armed with the acquired skills and solutions, you can build a compelling business case and approach companies of interest. Companies don't hire merely to fill positions. They seek problem solvers. They want applicants who demonstrate tangible skills or offer solutions they can leverage. Consider this scenario. Picture a company bleeding 10 million annually due to an internal issue they can't resolve. Now, imagine you identifying that problem seeking the solution or acquiring the necessary skills as outlined in phase three. If your solution or skills can cut their losses significantly, they will be eager to bring you on board. You become an invaluable asset and they will be willing to pay a premium for your impact. Let's compare two hypothetical candidates seeking a job position. Candidate one, hello sir, here is my CV or cover letter showing the wide range of skills I possess together with my certificates and experiences. 
I also hold an engineering PhD degree and I have published several papers in top journals. Please, I need a job at your company. Here is a list of companies I have worked for. For a conventional applicant, your strategy is to draft a polished CV, apply to every job listing and hope for the best. Emphasize degrees and certificates with no real world proof of applying those skills. Outcome, compete with countless others, hoping to stand out in the crowded field. Candidate two. Hello, sir. Here is a report I put together showing some of the optimization issues you face in your company and the framework on how I plan to use my PhD level knowledge to help you solve the challenges and scale your company. Please, I need to better understand the problems you face with your company. Here is a list of companies I have helped increase profits. Candidate two positions as a problem solver. Approach, view themselves as a one-man business entering a partnership with the company. Identify industry-specific problems, develop solutions or acquire relevant skills, proactively approaches companies showcasing their value, sells their expertise and impact. Results, create opportunities aligned with their true worth rather than waiting for companies to detect their value. There are many advantages to the problem solver approach, as we have seen, but also it increases your chances of finding a good match with employers who really need your skills and services. You work on projects that you are passionate about, hence being productive, which, which helps your career growth while creating impact. Your mindset matters. As a job seeker, shift your perspective. You are not just seeking employment. You are positioning yourself as a solution provider. Don't wait for doors to open. Step out, market your skills, and sell your services. By identifying problems, offering solutions, and confidently setting your price, you will create opportunities that match your true value. Remember, company hire those who can make a difference. Be the difference they are looking for. Principle six, join a professional community. In your journey from education to professional employment, it is essential to recognize the power of belonging to an AI and data professional community. While your university days may have focused on individual achievement, the real world drives on collaboration and teamwork. I'm talking about professional communities where you can share valuable information and not friend zones where you chit chat. The conventional approach. You may have approached your career by striving to stand out as individual aiming to be the best in the eyes of potential employers. However, in today's interconnected world, this solitary approach can be limiting the innovative approach. Today's society values community and collaboration. Belonging to a professional AI and data community provides numerous benefits, including network opportunities, ongoing learning, and access to job opportunities that may not be advertised elsewhere. Advantages of belonging to a professional community. Networking, connect with like-minded individuals who share your professional interests and language. Continuous learning, stay informed about industry trends and developments through shared knowledge and experiences. Job opportunities, discover job openings and career opportunities before they are publicly advertised. Sense of belonging, feel supported and be part of a community that understands your professional journey. Traits of an ideal professional community. Shared interests. Look for communities aligned with your professional aspirations. Diversity. Seek out communities with members from varied backgrounds and experiences. Manageable size. Opt for communities where your voice can be heard and where you can actively contribute. How to search for communities. To find the right professional community for you, explore online platforms and forums related to your field of interest. Joining these communities is just the first step. Active participation is key. Share your knowledge, ask questions, and offer support to fellow members. In conclusion, belonging to a professional community is not just about networking. It's about building meaningful connections and supporting each other's professional growth. By actively participating in these communities, you can enhance your career prospects and contribute to the success of others. For a start, you can join Graphiland Professional Community 
where AI and data enthusiasts meet to discuss and share ideas. Summary of the six golden principles. Let's put everything you have covered so far together. The Education to Professional Employment E2PE framework offers a structured pathway for you to transition seamlessly from academia to professional employment in the field of AI and data. Here are the phases for a quick review. One, career counseling and guidance. Evaluate your motivation, skills, and knowledge. Match them with AI and data career profiles aligned with market needs. Develop tailored career profiles to align skills with job market needs. Two, skill development and training. Tailor training to meet your needs. Ensure training meets global standards and emphasizes practical applications. Involve industry professionals to help bridge the gap between theory and practice. Three, work integrated learning. Seek internships or engage in projects aligned with your chosen career path. Focus on purposeful internships or projects to address specific challenges. Four, professional branding. Establish a strong online presence on platforms like LinkedIn and Indeed. Create and share valuable content related to your subject of expertise. Five, job placement. Actively pursue job opportunities aligned with interests and aspirations. Proactively reach out to employers with tailored project reports. Tailor your CVs or resumes to match specific job requirements. And six, professional community. Join communities of like-minded professionals. What is next? You have probably heard that knowledge is power, but the truth is knowledge without action is worthless. All the information about transitioning to AI and data to earn a six-figure salary is pointless if you don't put it into practice. To help you implement this knowledge effectively, let me introduce you to a special program called the E2PE Accelerator Program. This program is specifically designed to help non-technical degree holders like you transition into AI and data growth consulting within three to six months, earning five to six figure salaries while working from home. I have prepared a comprehensive video to help you understand all the details of the program. You can access this video using the link in the video description. After watching the video, you can book a free one hour discovery session with a member of our team. Before you go ahead and watch the video, let's clarify something. Unlike conventional roles such as data analysts or data scientists, I mentioned a new type of role, AI and data growth consultant. I want you to start by discarding generic job titles such as data scientist, data analyst or business analyst. These titles have been overused and misinterpreted by different companies, making it ineffective to sell yourself with these broad titles in today's job market. Indirectly, I'm asking you to avoid presenting yourself generically like this. I'm an experienced data scientist. I help companies uncover insights from data using visualization dashboards, Python programming, just to name a few, to support data-driven decisions. An AI and data growth consultant is a professional who specializes in advising businesses on how to leverage artificial intelligence and data-driven strategies to achieve growth and success. This role involves a combination of expertise in AI technologies, data analytics, and business strategy, along with the ability to understand and address the unique challenges and opportunities facing each client in an industry. When you become an AI and data business growth consultant, you enjoy the following benefits. You are in high demand and you charge high fees. There is flexibility and control. Diverse opportunities. Professional growth and financial independence. To transition into an AI and data business growth consultant, ask yourself the following four key questions. What specific niche in your industry interests you? Which specific problem in that niche is worth solving and companies are willing to pay for? What are the desired results companies in your niche want to achieve? What are the minimum AI and data skills necessary to solve this specific problem? With answers to these questions, you can confidently craft your professional statement. As such, you can present yourself like this. As an AI and data business growth consultant, I help health NGOs to improve the mental health of HIV patients 
by using visualization dashboards to display key patient indicators to support decision making. Joining the E2PA Accelerator program has never been easier. We have a roster of top AI and data experienced professionals waiting to assist in your transition journey. Here are three simple things you need to do. One, take a quiz. Answer some few questions to see if you qualify to join the E2P Accelerator Program. Two, discovery session. If you qualify, you will book a free one-on-one -on -one discovery session. And three, enrollment. If there is a match between us, then you join the exclusive group of AI and data group consultants. During the discovery session, we will get the chance to get to know you better at a professional level, understand what you aim to achieve in your professional career, and uncover the transition challenges you are facing in AI and data. What are you waiting for? Scan the QR code or use the link in the video description to book a free one hour discovery session now.